Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kenny Wallace Show, brought to you by JEGS, the leader in high performance aftermarket car parts. Remember to go to JEGS.com. And by God, you're right, you guessed it right. Kim and I are in Lost Wages, <laughs> Las Vegas. We are here for the SEMA show, big show with automotive parts, and I'm excited that JEGS is gonna be in booth 24119. But boy, we got to talk about this this Martinsville race to finish. Uh, so let's get at it right now. Uh, I got off the airplane. I saw all the highlights. We watched a lot of the race at the start. And man, what a race. Uh, I'm worried that the final race at Phoenix, will it have it all? Respond right here. Do you think the Phoenix race is going to be better than the Martinsville race? We had Denny Hamlin giving it everything he had. He was 17 points back when the race started. He wins the first stage, so he, he gains 10, right? But Ryan Blaney runs second right behind him, and he gets nine points, so it's only plus one. So Denny Hamlin does really good, uh, but he is your villain, and I love this. I think this race had it all. You have the villain, which is Denny Hamlin. The way I look at it, you got what you want, right? We, we got that bad guy. He run that mouth, like I always say, you know, Denny and I are good friends. We have fun talking about it. He said, look, I love talking crap. It's part of the sport. Those boys in basketball, and he, he said, Michael Jordan, all them guys, that's the way they did it. He loves sparring with Debbie, everybody, but I thought he was really gracious after the end of the race. I watched the interview. Hey, he just flat ran good, but did not make the playoffs. All right, so let's break it down here again. So many things to talk about. We've got Kyle Larson. We've got Christopher Bell, or as we all say, C. Bell. We've got uh, Ryan Blaney, the winner of the Martinsville race. I mean, boy, did he show up. Wow. You know, kind of, and even coming in like we did uh, to the playoffs, like not having a lot of playoff points and stuff like that, and then and they're just outperforming people, right? I mean, just, just doing a good job and um executing really well and um that's all you can ask for so yeah i mean all, all you want is a shot at a championship and you get your shot when the playoffs start if you make them okay you have a shot but then your real shot is you know you could get the phoenix right so um yeah it's just nice to, to have an opportunity to actually race for a championship um so yeah hopefully we can maximize the weekend we'll just see i'm excited for it. it's gonna be uh it's gonna be fun uh really like that is his dad, Dave Blaney, and his mom were in victory lane. And then, of course, William Byron. Now, months ago, I said, look, the two drivers that I think is going to win the championship, and Charlie, make sure you record this <laughs> so you all can call me out. I've been saying the last two, three months, my two championship favorites are Kyle Larson and William Byron. Uh, William Byron's race at Martinsville was ugly. But Kyle Larson won the championship at Phoenix a handful of years ago. So I think uh, that they got it going on. He did it in that next-gen car. So I think that they are going to be okay when they get to Phoenix. And I think every driver, all four, once again, Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, Ryan Blaney, and William Byron, those four, they should be, you know, they should be right up there for, for the win. Um, I really do think that. Now, we have not had anybody yet uh, ruffle the feathers. In other words, nobody has won the last race of the year, right, that was not in the, in the last four, right? So when we started this new process, whoever's running for the championship has always won the race. Will this be the year? <laughs> does Denny Hamlin come back and go, hey, and does Denny Hamlin win, win Phoenix? Post it right here because, you know, he, he wants to show up even though he's not in the final four. So um, I think that's about it. I do want to comment on this. Uh, what a crowd. Now, I don't want to hear that, oh, there was a couple seats open next to me. Don't go there. That's not fair. Martinsville fans up there in Martinsville, Virginia, they showed up. That was, now listen, those are the stands they've always had there. They didn't take any away. The back straightaway was all already gone because that was those old concrete grandstands. 
They've been gone forever. They added all the new grandstands down there in three and four. It was a hell of a crowd. They announced a sellout. It was packed as far as I'm concerned. So that was big. The fans showed up for the playoff race. And, and the race had it all. It did not disappoint in any manner. How about old Denny Hamlin bumping old Ryan Blaney in the ass going into three and Blaney does his job and saves it. But uh, yeah, and they were beating and banging. Luckily, there were no right front tires cut down in this race. So, all right, I think that's enough. Uh, that's my wrap up of the Martinsville race. We're going to be out here till Wednesday. We'll be back in St. Louis Wednesday evening. But uh, Kenny conversation this week is going to be Bobby Pierce. He won the World of Outlaw uh, Championship, the World of Outlaw Dirt Super Late Models. Then after that is going to be, uh, who do we got? The GOAT, Ricky Carmichael. Both of those are in the can. And just a little bit ago, Dale Earnhardt Jr. texted me, and he said, Herman, let's work on that date. You have to understand, like, that this is when they make the playoffs, when, I'm, when they choose the races that are going to be in the rounds. It's made to create these moments. Um, and so it's it's – they picked Martinsville um, to be an elimination race to go to a, the, the next race is the championship. Martinsville ain't in round one, round two. It's here for a reason. It's at this race right now for a reason. Um, Daytona is a you know final for the regular season. That was a in, that was an intentional decision to put that race there, right? To create moments and create drama and make these drivers. Put the, you know, do uncomfortable things. So I'm really excited. I was supposed to have a Kenny conversation with Dale Earnhardt Jr. tomorrow, but I'm out here, and I just wanted it to be right. So we're going to talk to Junior about different things. Uh, him going to military school, I'm going to come at Junior in a fun way and just talk to him, uh, you know, the, as the friend I am, and we'll have a good time. All right, everybody. Remember, we are in podcast form. Spotify and iTunes, and Charlie says we're showing up. We're showing up. Remember, listen to us on the way to work because these things are long. Listen to us on the way back. And uh, Kim says it's time to go gamble, and we're going through the sphere tonight, the, the new sphere, that big old globe. We're going to watch the postcard. All right, until next time, 